السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته تبارك الله عليك سيد الرئيس المجلس النواب المغربي تبارك الله على الجلالات الملك محمد السديس نصره الله تبارك الله على الشعبين المغربي ولا إسرائيلي تبارك الله عليكم وشكرا جزيلا لكم سهرة مغربية أنا فرحان بزاف هذا اليوم في المغرب ديالنا هذا نهار كبير I would like to first thank our host the Honorable President of the House of Representatives of Morocco Mr. Rashid Talbi Al Alami for his gracious invitation to Morocco and to the Moroccan Parliament the first of its kind in Israel's history to any Muslim state parliament. I would like to convey special thanks to His Majesty, King Mohammed VI, for his embracive, forward-looking leadership, for his vision of peace, for his groundbreaking and innovative thinking, and wish him from here that God will continue to watch over him and his family his Majesty's significant role as President of Al Quds Committee and the trust he gains from all sides gives him not only the deep understanding of the area and the challenges that we are all facing, but also the right position to be able to mediate between the State of Israel and the Palestinian Authority towards peace, which we all wish to see with our own eyes in our lifetime. Thanks to His Majesty's groundbreaking and innovative thinking, the vision of peace became closer, and with it, the prosperity of Moroccans and Israelis alike. As a descendant of this blessed land, I am fully aware of the importance of the recognition over the Moroccan Sahara. It is not only me. I believe that history says so. I have said before, and I say now as Speaker of the Knesset very clearly, Israel should move towards that goal of recognizing Moroccan Sahara. Just, <laughs> just as our closest ally, the United States of America did, as it signed the historical Abraham Accords. I support it and push towards that goal. I can tell you that there are currently serious discussions between our governments on the matter, and I believe that Prime Minister Netanyahu will be announcing his decision in the near future. This historic parliamentary visit and the signing of the Memorandum of Understanding which you have all witnessed between parliaments will pave the way to all of this and more, inshallah.